Hello everyone, we are here at Knott's Berry Farm and we are gonna do three things today. We are gonna go on a ride, we're gonna go see some entertainment and get some food. So come along for this adventure and I think you'll enjoy it. We are here at Knott's Berry Farm. Right before, I should say, Halloween. Halloween. The height of the Halloween season. Yes, the hype of the Halloween season. I think we need, we need to get a line, yeah. Line. Gotta be prepared for screening here. To check everybody out fine. Knott's Berry Farm is celebrating 50 years of scares this year and definitely packed. But the Knott's Scary Farm part doesn't actually start until 7 p.m. tonight. And we plan to be long gone by then. So we're just here for the daytime activities. Berry Farm is actually a hundred years old, over a hundred years old, but Not Scary Farm, this is the 50th year that they've celebrated Not Scary Farm. It's kind of crazy to think that Not, Not Scary Farm is just a little bit older than I am, so there you go, started in the 70s. Go get tonight. Headed up into the Calico Mine Ride, which is going to be our first ride for the day. But before that, we'll head through the town of Calico see some of the Pueblo structures out here and some of the teepee tents out here as well the music is all Halloween type music as we head up towards the Calico mine ride up here you'll see the hoop dance circle this is where they do the Indian hoop dance circle today there's no shows but if there was a show that's where it would be ghost town station for Calico station train the train it is operating today, but I don't oh, no. see it right now. Looks like people are waiting for it. We have the Justice of the Peace out there, Pickles Bill. They're getting ready to open up today. Lots of things going on today in the park as we get closer to the Calico Mine Ride. I can hear Crazy Kirk and the Hillbillies in the background. They're doing a sound test. They're going to be performing today at 1130. The Calico Candy Mine Trade ride is open today, which is a good thing. The line is about 10 minutes long, they're saying. We've been through the Calico Mine Ride many a times. It's kind of a classic here at Knott's Berry Farm. But today, it should be special with its holiday over. You can be in the picture. If you want to be in the picture. Denise waiting in line here. How long have you been waiting in line, Denise? I've been waiting in line 32 minutes. 32 minutes so far to get to the shack. So over here you can see the old ticket booth. Back when this ride was first opened in 1960, it was a ticket. And so you'd have to buy your tickets here and you'd have to pay for each ride here, not for your Candy Mines, I do just have a few very quick safety rules and reminders to go through with y'all. For your safety, please stay seated at all times. Can you handle the ride? Uh, this is about my speed. It's about perfect. Okay. Chocolate. And it's never too early for a checkup with Dr. Lemuel Walker. All right. <laughs> There's the spider! Yeah. <laughs> 
Candy Mine Ride, and now we're gonna head out to see the concert for the day. So let's go check out Kirk and the Hillbillies. Well, now is the time that we do a surfer song. Not just any old surfer song, but a surfer song that fits the Wild West. I like the way that guy dresses right there. You know, the snappy, sharp dresser, you know, wear it well. We've been considered the best overall band. Selfie. West of Los Angeles. Okay, I'll take it. Take it.
us with the train. Sometimes we yell at them. Sometimes we warn them that they're about to be robbed. Uh, but we wave. It's hard. A lot of children are expected to be waved at, and it's hard to play the chords for me anyway without having a wave every like. Anyway, uh, but now we're going to get on a train called the Orange Blossom Special.
I think this person's been waiting for the train just a little bit too long. Same for the dog. We're going over to Forsaken Lake area, which is just really the regular Calico Lake area. But during Not Scary Farm, they change it up a little bit. All these tombstones have actors and they'll scare you when you walk in this area. Kind of a swamp thing of a theme going on there creature from the swamp but right now there's nobody so it's relatively easy this area is known for the 21 missions that are carved here at the lake there used to be a chapel here at the lake as well but that got moved across the street but they redid the models of the 21 missions and they're still here today we are now coming into fiesta village area of Knott's Berry Farm. Yes, the village kind of has like a Mexican theme going on. Like we're in a little plaza here. You can see the fountain and the new Casa California where they serve burritos and that's where I'm headed right now is to check out the burritos. For Not Scary Farm here at Papa's Mexicana's is La Diabla fries, which is yuca fries with deep fried shrimp in a spicy Diabla sauce, cilantro lime rice, poblano crema, corn kernels and green onions so i think that's what i'm going to be getting i'm going to try some of those la diabla fries as you can see with the decorations behind me knott's berry farm is celebrating halloween this week it's not always like this but i like at knott's berry farm that they always change up the scenery according to the different seasons Knott's Berry Farm famous was the legendary Boysenberry. Um, it was invented by Rudolf Boysen and it's a cross between a red raspberry, blackberry, and a loganberry. And Walter Knott's brought it here in 1934 and it was a bumper crop for him that he was able to cultivate and start his farm here, which started Knott's Berry Farm. That's going to end our day here at Knott's Berry Farm. Hope you enjoyed the trip. Hope you enjoyed the music and the food. Knott's Berry Farm is open pretty much every day except for Christmas. So see you the next time around. If you like this video, like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.